You got dumped and you wisely went no contact after getting dumped, but now your ex has come back and they want you back, at least in some capacity. And you're trying to decide if you should take them back. Of course you want them back, but you're trying to decide if that's really the right thing to do. So in this video, I'm going to detail the five key boundaries that you need to set when considering taking an ex back. So let's talk about it. Boundary number one, the fresh start rule. Treat this as a brand new relationship. Don't say, all right, we're instantly back together again. Everything is back exactly the way it was before. Don't be like that. Even if they suggest that, which they probably won't, but even if they did, I would caution you against that. Treat this as a brand new relationship that you're rebuilding from scratch, just as if you would a brand new relationship with a brand new person. So start with casual dates, not daily contact, not sleepovers every single night. Allow it to progress slowly, just as if you would if this was a brand new person that you just met. And that way you'll avoid falling into some of the negative relationship patterns that you used to be in before. You'll begin to form new behavior patterns in the relationship. Both of you will be doing that, and that's going to be a good thing if you want it to work this time around. Try saying something like, let's just start fresh and see where this goes. Or let's just take things one day at a time with no pressure. Boundary number two, pacing and labels. Now, oftentimes, and I say this a lot in my videos, it's the woman who dumps the guy about 75, maybe even 80% of the time. Often, while not exclusively, but often the woman has what's known as an avoidant attachment style, and the guy has what's known as an anxious attachment style. If that happens to be the situation here, it is absolutely crucial if you're the guy and you're taking the woman back after she's asked you back, it's absolutely crucial that you let her set the pace of how quickly things begin to progress when you begin to use labels like boyfriend, girlfriend, or whatever labels you were using previously. Let her be completely in charge of that. You simply be in charge of having fun. Boundary number three, communication. Initially, keep things light and fun and focused on the present. You're not yet going to dive into the past issues that derailed the relationship, the who and the why and the what and who did what to whom and things of that nature. Some of that is going to be okay to come out at a later date when you're further down the line in developing whatever this is turning into. But right now, don't go there. It's going to completely derail your chances of success if you dive into that heavy stuff too quickly. Just have fun, enjoy each other's company, and let things progress slowly. Then if it seems like those issues might still be there, you can dive into those topics at a later date when things are more firmly established with this reconciliation. So focus on building new experiences rather than the past issues. And you might even say something like, let's just focus on creating new memories. Boundary number four, privacy protection. Right now, you don't really know where this is going to go. After all, you got kicked to the curb before and you probably didn't see it coming. And now you're back together again, but you don't really know where things are going to go yet. You don't know what your relationship status is exactly, and you're just sort of letting it progress slowly over time. So don't go broadcasting anything on social media. No large announcements to family and friends and things of that nature. Keep things quiet for now until things have progressed a little bit further. Say things like, let's just keep this between us until we figure things out. And then together decide what you're going to say when you're going to say it, and to whom you're going to say it. Boundary number five, independence maintenance. Treat this as a brand new relationship, just as if you just met this person and you just started dating. You wouldn't be hanging out with your best friends or your family with somebody that you just started dating, so don't do that with your ex even though you obviously have history together. So no group dates, no inviting them over for holiday meals yet. Don't do things like that. Keep your independence. Say something like, I want us to keep our individual lives while we rebuild things. And then as things progress, we can slowly begin to integrate our lives over time. And this will allow for a healthy attachment between the two of you to form or reform if it used to be there. Ultimately, while these tips are for the benefit of your ex, they're really for the benefit of you. After all, 
You are the one who got dumped and you need to look out for number one and you need to protect your heart from getting hurt here. And the best way to do that is to slowly rebuild this relationship in a new way, a healthier way, a better way that actually has a chance of long-term success this time around. And if you rush into things, if you ignore red flags, if there's poor communication, it's just going to fall apart all over again and you're going to get hurt all over again and you don't want that and i don't want that for you either where are you at on this journey remember i offer one-on-one -on -one services we can do a zoom call a regular phone call or you can send me your issue and i'll record a custom video and send it back to you within a couple of days check the link down in the description or right up here if you want to learn more about that let me know your story down in the comments but for now i'll see you in the next video